Greetings, Christ the King family, and welcome to our Monday devotion. Um, we are still working our way through A Beautiful, Terrible Lent uh, from the book A Beautiful, Terrible Day uh, by Kate Bowler. And today's reading is for the Monday of um, Holy Week, uh, specifically about Palm Sunday. So I hope you were able to join us yesterday. Um, and this is sort of a reflection um, on Palm Sunday for us to consider. And it goes a little something like this. Jesus, from that mountain, high among the olive trees, it would have been an easy walk down to the city, to Jerusalem, which lay below. So why choose to make your way on a donkey, on an everyday beast of burden, your feet almost dragging on the ground? And who are those people running, bending low, to spread their precious cloaks on the road before you, waving palm branches and shouting, save us, Hosanna to the son of David. What is the raw and urgent hope that rises in their songs? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, why are you smiling? Because it is true what they are saying, though they can't yet know the whole of it. It is happening. It is unfolding in slow motion. The fulfillment of that promise from old, their savior would come humble and riding on a donkey. Blessed are we on this side of history, shouting, come Lord, save us too. We know how it ends. And still we forget to rush toward our humble, forgettable King and yell, Hosanna, Hosanna. Our hope is in you. The reflection for today says, there's something incredibly embarrassing about yelling adoration. Have you ever done it? But it's honest in a way that is difficult. We risk something in our hope. Think of a time you saw God popping up in any part of your life, big or small, and try a little Hosanna. Super quietly is fine. When we double down on genuine gratitude, we become a little braver and a little more awkward. Three cheers for the awkward. I think it's important to remember that we don't just have to shout hosannas and praise on Sundays like Palm Sunday. We can do that anytime, whether it's awkward or out of nowhere or um, makes us feel a little uncomfortable. I think that's okay. Um, and so I hope that you are able to find some places in your life and try out those little hosannas. Um, and I pray that we all can shout Hosanna a little more on our journey towards Easter this week. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.